This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Harley Race. This is Mick Foley. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. This is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans from around the corner and around the world, welcome to another installment of Wrestling Insiders. I'm Dan Marotti here at MWF Studios just north of Boston, Melrose, Massachusetts. John Cena Sr. is on location as we roll into July. In this edition, let's check out the July 1st, 2015 episode of NXT on the WWE Network. Fans, you truly are our tag team partners in keeping the Millennium Wrestling Federation and Boston Wrestling alive, continuing to bring you a wide variety of great free content online and our action-packed live events featuring the superstars and legends of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. You can make a welcome donation to us direct via PayPal using the email address bw at bostonwrestling.com or help us by engaging with some of our partners. In the month of July, WWE Network presents two huge live events both featuring Brock Lesnar in the squared circle, Beast in the East, July 4th in Tokyo, Japan, as well as the Battleground pay-per-view Sunday night, July the 19th from St. Louis, Missouri, as Lesnar takes on the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins, the first time Lesnar will have had a chance to get his hands on Rollins since WrestleMania. If you haven't subscribed to the best value in professional wrestling media as of yet, click on the link below and watch it on any online platform. You can also help us by doing your shopping on Amazon.com and WWEShop.com using our links below. No matter what you buy, even non-wrestling items on Amazon, we get a small kickback for leading you their way, and it does not increase your purchase one single cent. It's a great way to help us out while doing your regular shopping. We have a great online campaign headed your way this summer as we begin our 14th anniversary celebration. We'd also be happy if you joined us by subscribing for free to our YouTube channel. We're starting to close in on 800 free videos for your viewing pleasure. And if you enjoy what you see, please share it with your friends. And more than anything, click the like button on YouTube so it'll showcase more of our giant library to more and more of your fellow professional wrestling fans. In a day and age when indie and underground are cool, let's make this as big as it can possibly get, fans. We've got a lot of great content for fans anywhere in the world to enjoy on YouTube as well as the BostonWrestling.com super site. NXT opened up with the Vaudevillains defeating Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson. Later on in the show, the general manager, William Regal, announced that the Vaudevillains will challenge Enzo and Cass next week on NXT in a number one contenders match to see who will face the NXT Tag Team Champions, Blake and Murphy. Baron Corbin defeated Tucker Knight with the end of days in a quick matchup. I like Corbin's look, and I could see him becoming a solid part of the WWE roster if he continues to improve. Knight was a really big guy. It was my first time seeing him. We were then treated to the third part of the NXT series on my buddy Finn Balor. In this installment, he talked about how much he enjoyed inspiring artists who have had a field day with his look. He walked through his NXT debut. He talked about where the Finn Balor name came from and how he developed his character. If you missed any part of this three-part series on Balor, the NXT is having a special tonight at 10.30 p.m., and I imagine that'll be available on demand as well. It's certainly worth going out of your way to see. Emma defeated Carmella via submission. Later on, Emma and Dana Brooke had a confrontation with Sasha Banks in the locker room over wanting her title. Banks challenged them to a tag team match. It'll be interesting to see who Banks chooses to team up with. Tyler Breeze defeated Ty Dillinger with the beauty shot. Savio Vega, eat your heart out. Breeze is really growing on me. He didn't make much of an impression on me at first. First couple of times I saw him on WWE live events. But I have to question, is he a heel or is he a face? Had the same questions about Sheamus on Raw Monday night. Breeze looks and acts like a cocky heel, but the fans cheer for him, and he doesn't cheat. I'm guessing that he's a heel, but if he's truly supposed to be a heel, he needs to cheat more to go along with his athletic repertoire and the great look that he's put together for that character. In the main event, Finn Balor and Samoa Joe defeated Kevin Owens and Rhino in one hell of a tag team battle. Crowd was hot for it. Finn Balor went over on Kevin Owens via pinfall in the middle with the Coupe de Gras. was the right finish in a tag team match leading up to their championship singles match Saturday in Tokyo. 
I'd still like to see John Cena walk away with the NXT Championship for a short period of time to keep his feud with Kevin Owens alive in WWE. I do hope that Owens remains a regular in NXT for the foreseeable future with so many feuds in the works with baby faces chasing the heel champion. You'd think, in theory, with Owens doing so much in WWE that Balor would walk away with the gold in Japan Saturday night, but you never know. You have Balor, Samoa Joe, the returning Hideo Itami once he's recovered from his injury, all with issues with Kevin Owens, and I'd like to see that keep going. Like NXT, because so much of it is so new to me, I would like to see more angles on the show behind the main event stories. The more guys in the mix with something interesting going on, the more interesting the show will be each week, and in theory, that'll lead to more eyeballs on WWE Network. I thought NXT, along with both TNA and Ring of Honor, were all very good this week, and that's the first since the quote-unquote Wednesday Night Wars began on June 3rd. Check out our reviews for both of those programs on our YouTube channel as well. Would love to hear your thoughts on NXT this week. Feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Hope you have a great and safe July 4th weekend. If you're going to have an adult beverage or few to celebrate America's birthday, hand over those car keys. I had back surgery about a month ago due to injuries sustained by a loser that drank way too much and fell asleep behind the wheel of his car that almost killed us. No reason for me to be in this much pain as I put this review together, but that's a different story for a different time. Hope you have a great time and don't put yourself or anyone else at risk. Until we speak again, you and yours, stay well. It's your